This is the receptacle on my front porch, and it's got some issues. First, there's this, it falls right off. And then recently I noticed it would not charge my phone. This gave me a chance to use my outlet tester. As you can tell, there is a red light flashing on the GFCI, which usually means trouble. And here, the tester is not lighting up, indicating another problem. I went ahead and used my non-contact sensor to see if it's getting any power, and it's not, so we need to take this receptacle off to see if it's a power issue. If not, we likely need to replace the receptacle. This is the first time I've ever removed an outdoor cover and receptacle, and honestly didn't realize the cover was just held on with two screws. I've needed to change this thing for years. The power is still on, so I'm being careful, but I'm trying to pull this receptacle out so I can test these wires to see if they're hot. Yep, we have power, so the receptacle is bad. Now let's see if we can find out which breaker this plug is on. I think it's on the lights breaker or possibly the living room. So let's flip both of those and give it a test. All right, it is no power here, so it is one of those. Let's flip the living room back on, give it another test. We have power, so we know this is on the living room because we just flipped that one off. So I'll go ahead and flip the lights back on and then the living room off and then retest to make sure. The non-contact sensor is saying no power, so we should be good to go. Since I'm just a homeowner with a small YouTube channel and not an electrician, I want to be extra careful and flip the main house breaker. This will make sure that this rarely used outdoor outlet will not be the end of me. But before I do that, I do like to manually shut off the power to the heat and air unit, which is what I did just a minute ago before I flip the main breaker. As you can see, now we have no power to the entire house, and we should definitely be safe to work on this. Changing out a receptacle after the power has been turned off is fairly simple. Just make sure you put in the same wires and the same slots on the new outlet. This one only had a ground and the hot and neutral wires going in the line side. I would suggest taking a picture of how it's wired before you unscrew and pull out the wires. And here's the new one that I'll be installing. While researching which GFCI to get, I knew I needed a 20 amp in case I wanted to use power tools on it. But one thing that I missed was weather resistant, which is flagged with a WR. Those are made of different metals and plastics, which allows it to last longer outside in the elements. I realized this when I was unboxing the new one, but figured with it being on a covered porch and a new cover, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But if you're getting, if you're doing this, make sure you get the right one, which would have a WR on it for weather resistant. I've got a couple USB outlet installations on my channel, and the ground screw is always a battle. I'm happy to see these GFCIs have a slot behind the screw for it to slide right into. It makes it a lot easier. While many think the knowledge of electricity is why electricians make the big bucks, my theory is because of how hard it is to tuck these wires back in the box. The mortar around the brick wasn't allowing me to get the screw started because it was sticking out too far, so I had to bend these tabs so that the screw was a little bit closer to the screw hole. So I do use a screwdriver here to get the screw started, but there's so much screwing involved I don't want to get carpal tunnel from this, so I did pull out the impact driver one thing to note, when you're using an impact driver, do not sink it all the way in because it could strip out that box screw hole. Uh, go ahead and finish up with a screwdriver just like it started. Now that we have the receptacle where we want it, it's time to install the weatherproof cover. The thing that popped off there was an insert in case your receptacle had a different shape to it. And the gasket also has a bunch of different options for different shape receptacles.
I found it easier to use the screws to hold the gasket on the back of the cover when installing. All right, we'll get everything installed. Let's turn the power on and see if everything works. If you'll be switching out any receptacles at your house, these outlet testers do come in handy. They not only tell you if it's got power, but also confirms if it's wired correctly, which is very helpful. And if it's a GFCI, it also allows you to trip the GFCI to make sure it's working properly. I'll leave a link in the description for this one in case you want to pick one up. So I'm doing a final inspection here and it looks like my gasket's not seated exactly how I want it. So let's go ahead and see if we can screw this thing in and get it a little bit tighter. Now we'll check in with my supervisor. Looks like he's okay with it now. Appreciate you for stopping by and don't forget to sub if you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one.